What's Hello, it? everybody. Welcome to Season 48, Round of 64 match. Could have been the final. It's Andre and his Nurgle versus Gadenik and his Dark Elves. In the booth with me is Banana Man himself, Daedalquist, and the thieving Scouser, Hancock. Hello. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Banana, banana man. <laughs> what, uh, no, but like you pass the ball on either of those two besties. Like, how are you stopping? Yeah, true. It's not guard, yeah, that's true. But, like, it, also, strength five blood guard would be incredible, wouldn't it? So, like, yeah, yeah, so, that, that's yeah. the problem with every skill is that, <laughs> it's it's not guard. Guard, <laughs> is that it's not guard, right? And like, yeah. the, the, there are three amazing skills in the game that uh, that's block guard and dodge and everything else is mediocre in comparison yeah pretty it's, much. De it's definitely got its uses to be fair um yeah. I, I don't hate it at all but i'm just not sure when it comes to like outside of chalice it's really good for for getting you that into those situ or out of situations against like not as good coaches yeah you're gonna get stuck in weird places against not great coaches and then it's a great skill right but yeah no you're you're, you're on to something definitely like with the edge five bestie with the wrestle tackle like it's a bit superfluous i guess well so already uh andrew down at two he's down tv with a bribe uh 13 players he's got a strength five pesty and edge five pesty with rackle interestingly uh full claw palm tackle has to go there. Actually, taking piling on instead of juggernaut. What a madman! Uh, some decent warriors and Gadene <laughs> has. Wow, look at this move! Move up blitzer coming in, and a tackle bomb jump up blitzer. Strength four it's, guy. It's some crazy teams on it. Edge five. I just remembered this game now. Exactly what happened. I don't have a clue. Both cracking players, though. Like, I'm surprised yeah. Andrew's not got a chalice yet, if I'm honest with you. I know he can be sort of up and down sometimes, but he's a very, very good player. Yeah, he did win the World Cup on Blood Bowl 1, so... You know, it is, yeah. yeah. He's been to the final, what, once or twice? Yes, once or twice. I know, yeah, I know, <laughs> I know he was there like two seasons ago. Um, yeah. Uh, give it a rackle just blitzes this guy, doesn't he, I guess. Oh no, you've got a claw you've got a claw pummel. Okay, never mind, you've got a tackle claw pummel. I wonder what's gonna happen here. It's um it's it's interesting, isn't it? Because, like obviously Nick's a very, very good player and he's like straight in with the pressure. Yeah. Even though he like a claw bomber is probably one of his best pieces. Yeah. I think Nick is probably rated as the top player right now, right? But the most yeah. Most of the community. Plays. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah. Like, yeah. What? Yeah. I mean, not by everyone, perhaps, but by most of the community. Um, by the by, the elitist pricks of Dio's Discord, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Out of everyone that plays out, so I put him in the back one. Yeah. Yeah, Core isn't playing, is he? <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> It's like, yeah, it's it's definitely interesting, like, see, seeing how he approaches this, this... He does expose, like, himself to a lot of damage here. Yeah, that's what I mean. Um, it, it seems like he's not scared of, of just getting in there at all. It, yeah, even with, like, some of his best players. Yeah. Oh, oh. Well, maybe maybe he's, he thinks uh, he's on a clock, you know. I mean, he's got lots of he's look a lot of bench yeah. though. He's got so much bench. I don't hate like playing this way slower. Um, the, the king of benches, Nick. <laughs> the uh, the ball is on a strength five launch. Like, how are you ever bringing that down? Yeah, true. Like, what's the what's the Maybe the best counter to a strength five bludger having the ball is just get your best players claw bombed every turn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> Maybe Nick's on another level to everybody else. <laughs> oh, that's not great. So we got to make what three dice rolls? They all sucked, and then he got removed, and now there's no counter attrition. Yeah, uh, like, honestly, good. maybe it was better to just play these shitters, right? And then, like, defensive dash. Yeah, yeah, maybe. And then go for the one turn and... and yeah, I, definitely don't hate, I definitely don't hate the sound of that. Um, 
like you leave you leave a couple of like your good players on pitch right because you have to um and then like on if in case like uh, andre fails something you still have a great shot at like getting the ball and then yeah your drive with slightly worse players but most of the times that's not happening so most of the times your shit players get stopped yeah i don't hate the sound of that i wouldn't i would not have done thought of it but yeah with such a deep bench that's the thing like that's that's crazy isn't it 15 players like that's a luxury yeah. that elves normally don't have um and yeah rather than having to get dodge guard players blitzed every turn and tackle bombers blitzed maybe you can just let your rubbish players get blitzed yeah. And obviously, it's easy to say that now after after it's yeah, gone wrong for him. But it is unusual to have that to have so many bench. So that alone would make me consider it. Yeah, I mean, like, sometimes club one doesn't fire right, and you're just safe for the entire game. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. Like I don't, I don't hate the fighting at all, if I'm honest, because it can, especially with like Nurgle, because of like unresponsive players and stuff, you can really slow down a drive. But so can yeah. a sort of a traditional health drive anyway. Yeah, so it's it's tough to gauge really. Yeah, the pr the problem that I see with this approach is is the ball being that player, the player that is on, right? Yes, yeah, that is the um, problem. Like, what can you do? You can stick like watch step on him. And hope he fails to dodge away. Except he's got great tackle, so <laughs> it's very yeah. unlikely that you can. He fails to dodge away from you. And how the hell are you going to sack him? Like, an uphill wrestle? Yeah, I was saying. I was sorry, thinking uphill wrestle. <laughs> well, that's the like. <laughs> Andre's good enough on bash to like just as you can looking at the pitch now. You can tell he's everything stuck together. It's going to stay together for the entire yeah. half. Yeah, um, yeah no, I, I definitely like. I played Andrew enough times, like. He fucks up a decent amount of the time. But overall, like, this is what he's good at, right? Defensive or defensive and offensive positioning. What are the bash. chances in a few turns the ball will carry will be on the sideline and the rest of his team will be scattered randomly across the half? Yeah, <laughs> minimal. <laughs> <I wouldn't say. laughs> <laughs> Colon will call you big meanie. You can't say stuff like that. <laughs> that one's a bit mean. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist. I like going for the DP here. Take take away some of Nick's high roll potential. Sorry, I was just thinking of something else. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to ask because it'll only end in tears. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm worried. <laughs> oh dear. Never mind. Flip me. Are we DP in the DP? Yeah, I mean, it sure looks like it, doesn't it? I mean, you just. No, you just keep the freight train moving. Yeah. Yeah, and this is this is how you got to play this game. Just stay together, stay consistent. Yeah. And now, maybe we'll see a bug out from Nick, because now he's got to realise the drive is over, and maybe just yeah, run away. you've got two choices, either go insane or just run away, haven't you, really? Yeah. I think he should have ran away in the moment his killer got killed. Yeah. Elliot is a big fan of running away, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yes, he's uh, a big fat coward, isn't he? <laughs> I don't mean that. I mean, like, in Blood Bowl, often he'll just lie his players down and... and yeah, and, uh, and I agree with him a lot of the time. Uh, yeah. I, I, about these I genuinely things. don't agree with him a lot of the time. I think he lies down way too easily, but, like, this is the kind of match where he should. Let's keep you, his private gotta... life out of it, though, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you got to think what like Elliot's assessing is the only thing because like you may say oh he could win this game but you might be yeah. thinking long term team equity etc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, for sure, for sure. Though. And like me and Elliot plays like every single move, every single turn differently, right? Yeah. Um. Yeah. So yeah. so like it, it's all in terms of like all right, how do I play this? Like what's what comes natural to me? Like what do I instantly see when I look at the board, right? Um. Then. Whether it's the right or wrong decision for you, I really but, like lying down against Clawpom, honestly. Like, uh, yeah, me too. Like, yeah. It's, it's really, a, really it's high really value. Yeah. You'd be basically taking away their ability to, to achieve one of their win conditions, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Mm. 
and like you get you get the first couple of turns for free right uh to check it if it's the thing that you have to do but then i think you i think in this case like it was the thing to do just quietly if i bet i bet andrea would swap some of these guards for tentacles right now <laughs> <laughs> yeah probably <laughs> Just randomly got surfed, or must have forgotten about yeah, the juggernaut. I... It was odd. Slightly like, must have forgot about the juggernaut. Oh dear. Well, or he didn't get surfed because Nick rolls dice like a crappy person right now. Yep. He's just baiting him in for the old space cadet. <laughs> I mean, Nick, to be fair to Nick, his dice have been atrocious. Yeah. Yeah, they've been pretty poor at dice. Yeah, really bad, actually. Yeah, he didn't get shit like the first four blitzes now. And then and then that one right there when he got like a free serve. Did he have a reroll? Uh, did Nick have another one? Yeah, yeah. He, he green rerolled uh, one of his blitzes. Oh, on the pillow. foul appearance. He rerolled the foul appearance that yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Still. Because I didn't think it was weird that he hadn't re-rolled it. <laughs> he definitely re-rolled it, yeah. yeah. I think he could have made it 2 and 2 if he dodged the original base. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think so too. He just didn't want to, did he, I guess? No, he, he did he, what he wanted to get the P3 move afterwards, obviously. Mm. Yeah. But um, it's Which pretty tricky. Pretty... It's, it's pretty tricky when you've got to roll the two two pluses against the foul yeah. appearance, isn't it? That's the exactly. Way. It's one of the things where foul appearance, you know, on the face of it, it's shit. But when it's yeah. like a thirty percent chance to to get you know to stop yeah, one of the hits, it's pretty really good. Yeah, exactly. And then you really don't want another two plus after that. Mm. Oh, now the witch gets fouled. There we go. Well, that was a pathetic foul, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Bribe's gone. No effect. Oh, goes for the goes for the dodge in for the uphill without wrestle. I mean, I don't hate it. I do. I hate it with that player. Yes, <laughs> like that. What a player, just to just to throw it to the wolves. I mean, I guess it's, it gets him further away from the tackle pommer. So, like, in a way, it's a good thing to do with him because at least it gets him away from this guy. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you're right about that. Uh, I mean, yeah, no, this... Now I remember, when, when when I was watching this, like, Nick was saying, and, like, at the time, he's surprised that he got this good of a defense up. Like, if you pause here... Okay, so um, it's not that good of a defense, but you... Yeah. yeah, but, you know, like, that basically needed to be a pal to have, like, free... The first hit there... Uh, basically needed to be a power to have like free movement into the end zone uh, without like rolling dice. Yeah, but a 1 in 36 is like all it's going to be. <laughs> you know, if, if anything fails, it's still just a 1 in 36. Like, yeah, that's... but it's still a surprisingly good defense from where he's been all half. <laughs> I don't know, he's elves. He can, he can roll some <laughs> dice. I, I'm not surprised that he, he did that because he went over there to hunt him, didn't he? There was a lot of players over there. Like, it, it's just a knock-on effect, I guess, from that guy nearly getting surfed and then it yeah. stretched and pulled him out across. Like, he did actually get stretched with random people on the sideline, didn't he, actually? I have to say that. <laughs> <laughs> he actually literally did. It wasn't the ball carrier, but, the, you know, that guy should have been surfed, probably. And, uh, yeah, I guess that split and then the speed of the elves. Oof, no trip way. Only moving five, that guy. Did he really? Yeah. Really? Yeah, that's what I meant. Like, you had to roll dice still. Like, and he had a dice roll, right? Yeah. yeah, he's only moved five, so he's a bit of a terrible ball carrier, but... It's only a bit. He's got an armor bus Nurgle Warrior as well, so he's got some injuries, but... Uh, it's still a fucking good team. Yeah. They're all really horrible to one turn against, aren't they? Yes. Yep. <laughs> Unless you're Tempest Soul. <laughs> you have two stand firms. Tentacles. Disturbing presence. Load of guard and strength. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, guard's pretty good, isn't it? 
That's all right, I think. I, Guard, yeah. stand firm. Mm. Presence. Ugh. But I would just swap. To... I would swap for tentacles for this turn and just backline them. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would just surf the ball carrier go here. Yeah. That's optimistic. So, so set up for the uh, um, riot and then surf the ball carrier go. I think that, that you can't do both. <laughs> and you though? No. No. No, you can't. You can't. If you're setting up for the riot, then you're not setting up to surf that goal. How many players do you need for the riot? How many players do you need? You, you to need, you need your edge you five and your witch elf. <laughs> so. <laughs> and why are you at it when you run millions? Yeah. <laughs> Because you needed the edge five to go through for the assist, didn't you? And then you needed the her to like roll some dice to get there as well. So you could do this. You can do both in surfing this rotter and setting up for the right, which is what I you did. I just don't think. I just don't think you needed all of that for. Like, look at how many players are there for the right. Nah, you definitely, you definitely need it. You definitely need to do it like this. That, that, surfing the that pestigo was mental, to be honest, Adel. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. Like you've got to, you've got to. Your edge five's got to make a bunch of dodges, and then you've got to make a leap. And... I don't know. Why do you have those players? Well, I mean, I wouldn't have taken them. You're so far. You're so them. far behind. It's Rick, to be honest, Nick's just a banger anyway, isn't he? <laughs> he is. It's funny that he's one with like banger, like mighty blow first orcs and mighty lo mighty blow laden dwarves, and then everyone thinks of him as an elf coach, but he's well, went to the final with the Killius Nurgle team. Oh, chaos, yeah. the chaos team. Yeah. Yeah. How far has he ever gotten with what elves? Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? It is funny that. It's the format in it more than anything, to be fair. Yeah. I think, I think the format does favour both teams. Thank you, Kaelin. Yeah. Yeah, no, right. Daedal suggesting people roll dice. What is the world coming to? Next, Elliot will be saying it's not over. <laughs> <laughs> and this looks pretty over. Like, it's not over. It's not over, but it's not looking good, is it? There's some good players out. I mean, it's definitely not over. Um, Still got 11 like, left, though, which is nice. Yeah, I mean, you hate to be down the players that you are, but this is far from over. The problem is the Nurgle team and the other stuff. Can't not think of Elliot as a yellow bellied coward now. <laughs> Blame you entirely. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, I'm a big meanie. No offence. <laughs> <laughs> All due respect. <laughs> Dak has got, got to be right in this uh, situation. Yes. Right? We've yeah. seen two elves versus Nurgle and both time the elves of Dak had love to see it. <laughs> do love a good Dakar. Conceptually, I used to like not like the idea of it, but then I played High Elves. Loved the Dakar. Yeah. Loved Dakar, me. Just so bad at it still. But it, yeah, it's just so good. I, I, I do hate like having to rely on that one turn when things need to go right. So I do tend to like go forward a bit sooner because like I just have to expect that things will shit. Oh a bit. God. This is uh, cheeky. I, I love it. It's very. Yeah. Like, Daedal is wet ah, in the panty now. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Fucking loving that. Yes, Nick. Roll dice. Yes, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> and it's pretty great getting the getting the witch off on the other side, isn't it? So like. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So this is one thing like I can disturb like people's DAC defenses, isn't it? Like if you've got yeah. something that that can do something on the other side, yeah. it makes people pay attention. Mm. So I don't hate it at all. It was rowdy AF, but yeah. But I mean, if he gets that warrior off the field, like that's a great chance. massive. Like, it's, yeah, it's, it's, massive. Not, it's not gonna get a good chance to remove anything. So a warrior down, yeah, 
Thank you. I'll take this hold. <laughs> If he was really advanced, what he could have done was he could have pushed him in there to generate the extra hit, then filled up these two squares and served his own noble warrior. That would have yeah. been... Yeah. That would have been... <laughs> what, really nice. glorious. what What a play. <laughs> <laughs> he stood that guy up to get served again. He's just inviting it, isn't he? Yeah. Interesting. I mean, I think Nick goes for the surf as well, right? Oh, yeah. Not doing anything right? else. Yeah. Leap up pillar, like it's only a 2D uphill, so you've done it before, you can you definitely do it again. Or he could uh or he could leap over there in for the one yeah, D surf the surf yeah, the other one. One D then into an uphill. Oh that that's the one be, I was looking at. Yeah. I'm late. That one's actually better, right? <clears throat> it's dicier. Yeah, in a way. I think I'd, I, yeah, I think I'd rather just do a straight up hill, to be honest. Yeah, it's interesting. <laughs> it's, it's so much dicier. The, the good thing about leaping the other way is leaping here make, makes he's got to go further away yeah, yeah, when, when yeah, you never be yeah. fail. <laughs> yes. No, that's definitely, like, the fail state is really fucking juicy, right? Yeah. Because um, then you open up so much space and now he just... All right, I'll move these two into a position where they're still relevant, and then follow your rich. Oh. oh, they're gonna stay there for another. Yeah, interesting, isn't it? Oh, here we go. Movement. Does he have a bribe still? He doesn't, right? No, he Never. used it. He used it to uh, when he didn't break it. But they didn't yes, even break even. Like, I'm pretty sure. He didn't. So any foul next turn, like, will have to be before he moves those into relevant positions. Yeah. Okay. Which I guess is the idea. Like, uh, that's obviously factored into Nick's decision to get forward, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, for sure. And he's having like. But I think like there's still move. like you, I think this is the latest. Which you can pull forward. That's true, yeah, true. It's um, you know, a bit slow. And like, plus there's tentacles and foul appearance yeah. and everything, so. Oh, if you wait one turn longer, then like anything that goes wrong could Oh, well, there you go. That's he's Andre is, is playing properly and uh, moving players before the foul. Unbelievable. Imagine that playing properly. Oh, really? What a fucking big kid. <laughs> <laughs> Just to clarify, Dale doesn't mean that. We don't all hate Spanish people, okay? <laughs> yes. Oh, I do hate one Spanish person, but he kicked my dog, so oh, that's okay. none of you guys. Uh, and uh, obviously, I don't hate him for being Spanish, but for kicking my dog. Yes, what a scumbag. The Spanish part is. I hate that guy too. <laughs> you just want someone else to speak Spanish with you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Going straight in here. Is this a GFI? Yeah, it's got me one. Oh, thanks, <laughs> Andrew kicked your dog. <laughs> Outrageous. Outrageous stuff from Andrew. Wow. I never expect a Spanish Inquisition kicking your dog. Hello, hey, Andrew. Hello. Really well played so far this game. Really well played. As soon as Jim mentions Spanish and hate and saying sentences here. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, you know, like a cheating ring on PS4 that, that happened to involve mostly Spanish people. Like, that's just, that's not nothing to do with Spanish people at all, is it? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think Nick was trying to show a bit of like for the um the break tackle blitz, wasn't he? I think he was a little bit, yeah. 
Yeah. And but, Andre smartly not taking it. Though. But do you know what? He yeah. might have been smart. Just shut too. down the, Get the beast in. Oh, but, uh, yeah, put the beast on it. It's not easy, though, is it? He's moved him so no. actually. So, yeah, he tagged the beast. Yeah, so he tagged the beast, so it would have been, he couldn't have got both. Mm. But he could have thought about the beast, maybe. I guess he's just leaving in the middle and a bit of support. Maybe it's a bit more support to the beast. Like, you know, somebody in front of him. Yeah. Not uh, punching with the beast. Maybe. Yeah, or just punch at the beast. But then, if you fail with the beast, you feel really bad, don't you? Oof. Yeah. No, I, I like not punching with the beast. The only thing with the DACA, isn't it? Like, a lot of your stuff's critical, and you do have to reroll yeah, it, yeah, even though it's yeah. overtime format. Yeah, yeah. But, now, this know. is exactly why I, I, I'm not, like, better at the DACA, because, like, I'm so afraid of this. <laughs> the thing is, it happens anyway, doesn't it? It happens anyway. Yeah, it just happens so, anyway. like, it's... Yeah, but it's now it's down to one reroll, like... <laughs> But yeah, I mean, I'm I'm not saying like he, he basically has to against this team, right? But now he's fucked. Like he's probably lost this game there. He's down to one reroll. Like there's the safety. Um, nothing's where he wants it to be. It's not over. It's not over. Don't say it's over. Don't say it's over. <laughs> <laughs> I can see this on the ball here. Yeah, can you? I can also see, I can also see ways to get the beast on the ball. Yeah. Wow. I'm just shutting you've, everything down. You've got a keen like, eye, you are table. <laughs> Pro players from the Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you won't see analysis like this anywhere else, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he got two dice in the ball with Rackle. How did he do it? Oh, yep. It's great that he's just got like a Wonder Elf, this... isn't it? Like, what an insane sucker that is. I mean, it doesn't need to, but it's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, but it's overtime. Yeah, but not like if you who's, who's peeking up? Oh, he got the break tackle. Oh, oh. Yeah, but now he has no rear. Oh, the strength five's picking up. That's fucking who. <laughs> All right. I mean, if, you, if you're going to roll those dice, then yes. <laughs> it wasn't crazy dice, though, them. was it? It wasn't crazy dice. It's pretty crazy dice. It's, it's pretty crazy, crazy dice. Post reroll is pretty crazy. Nah, it's not. It genuinely isn't. Oh. I mean, he's taking double G fights and then a four plus. Yeah, but it's not crazy. Like, it's genuinely not crazy. Like, and and that was after he got the wrestle, right? He could have just rolled the power on the reroll and then, like, <laughs> things like, like going, going from a winning position into a losing. Potentially, but it's versus Gadini, you know, so I think it's okay to like, you know. Yeah, if you take a high risk now and take it into overtime, that's fine, right? Yeah, yeah, I guess bit, I'm just like. If it was versus Shitter X3, room. you know, shit, <laughs> Shitter 5332 on CCL, then yeah, you you, you know, you, you play conservative and know you're going to win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're versus sure. bloody Gadenic, so yeah, maybe you do reroll that and go for the win. Oh, it's not a mistake. He four plus this beast. Mm -hmm. I roll a one anyway. <laughs> so it's the right call. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, right, Kalon? Yeah. <laughs> I just served the ball carry. It was so casual as well. I just served the ball carry here. And I looked and I was like, wait, is he put the ball carry in that square? And it's like, no, he's, he's miles behind. <laughs> <laughs> It, it's it's all contextual, Caleb. I'm just gonna leap with my uh, with my bloody armor seven character here to try and get a surf instantly. <laughs> oh my! Oh. Oof. oh. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was over already, right? But no, it's definitely. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunate. I mean, it was a nightmare draw for both of them, really, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why, why, Andre, why have you marked the stun guy? He's out for the rest of the game. <laughs> <laughs> you can never be too careful. <laughs> what if it's all a ruse? <laughs> uh, <laughs> He's worried he about... Interdimensional Nicks coming and interfering exactly, with the game. Exactly right. He's he's, wor he's worried that this that this that this. Uh... Oh, God, let me see if it's a blitz or not. Oh, dead. He's no, worried that this know. lineman's <laughs> going to score uh, next season in open. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> uh, Keep him marked up. Well, fair no, play. Really, really, really well played. Yep. That at strength 5 is just undealable with, isn't he? For elves, basically. Yeah. Crazy. Horrendous player to play against. I see that as someone that played against it. Thus, it was the worst. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. So it's not just that, like, he also has the other one, the Ash fight, right? Oh man, I would love JFIs. I would love JFIs to bracket <laughs> this guy. <laughs> yeah, we're just completely switching off his brain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like probably, right? Probably just thought there was two turns and then marked it. And then, and then like, when he was just about to JFI, I was like, oh shit, it's just game over. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well played, Andy. Yeah, yeah, well played. Congratulations. No, I see. Congratulations, Andre. Commiserations, Gdanik. Thank you very much, Daedal and Hancock. Absolutely glorious, guys. Hey, thank hey, you hey, so much hey. for having me. <laughs> so much fun doing this. Glorious. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.